Okay, hi, I'm Beck Lane, and this is Catalyst and Company, formerly Studio 120. On Catalyst and Company, we're helping to be catalysts in each other's lives and in, and in our own lives, helping each other organize, reorganize, see our work with new eyes, fresh eyes, and hopefully be able to present ourselves and reach our goals uh, better than we have been. Uh, behind me is, and I have to apologize because with all the talk about organization and reorganization lately and the schedules I've hung up and how I'm going to stick to them, I actually got waylaid twice over the past week. Uh, we had Hurricane Elsa last week and my bedroom and storage, uh, art storage room is one garage. It's either a one or two car garage. I don't know what it is. It's a garage and water blew in under the garage door, soaked about a foot of my rug, and so I had to spend a week um, cleaning it, you know, sucking the water out, cleaning it again, sucking the water out, because it got stinky in there, and uh, letting it dry out, so that, that was a focus, and then a lot of things around it. And then the other day, oh, there you are, I was looking for you. Uh, the other day, uh, I received an email that made me jump and I ended up spilling coffee over my finally dry rug and all over my keyboard so I can't access my PC because my keyboard is dead and I can't get a new one for a little bit. So you're going to have to excuse me, I've been dealing with, we're moving, for, oh, we're going to do this thing, oh, it's just been, you know, it's been uh, a week and now we're looking at more issues which is fun. So anyway, behind me is a painting that uh, I started maybe, la maybe last week in the middle of the rug mess. Uh, and the past few days, as you can see, I've been laying in the patterns for the dress. Now the patterns in the actual reference material, I can barely make out. They're, it's really in the thread, the pattern, it's not printed on the dress it's within the dress. So it's within this, I think it's silk. Um, I believe it's a silk material or silk blend and they're barely uh, recognizable. So I made up my own patterns kind of based on what I was able to, to see, you know, in the photograph. And I went ahead and I made this stencil to lay out some of the larger circles. That we see in there, but as, you, as what what you'll see in this, sorry, using the C, word C and recognize a lot, but what you're going to um, notice is the pattern in the, the patterns in the large circles started off with this, with these almost Aztec feel uh, cuts and shapes, and with a doily in the center, but I changed them. And that's one of the things that I talk about a lot is be flexible in your work. Be flexible. You don't have to stick with this one idea because it may or may not work. So I've taken it and I've broken actually this, these larger shapes down into much smaller shapes and added lights and darks to it. I also had another pattern where they were more rectangles they were just plain rectangles with a little bit of a scalloped edge and those have been taken and the shapes have been changed just a little bit and then I've added more shapes, more circles with little flowery uh, petals hanging off of it. What I, the original idea was to have something like this looking like a, um, a piece of machinery and have little cogs in the machinery running throughout her dress because African Americans have historically been nothing but parts to a very large financial machine uh, in our country. This have they been treated as uh, not just as, as slaves as they were for, you know, ever, uh, but also now as, as financial cogs in a money machine. Uh, through policing and, and, and the prison system and a myriad of other ways. Real, the real estate world, uh, worlds that have, or businesses that have um, historically com taken complete um, advantage of, uh, of, a, of disenfranchised peoples, but targeted mainly towards the black and Af African American communities. 
So I really wanted to give the feeling of cogs in a massive machine. But it's also turned into more of a declaration in here because some of the images, some of the shapes, I changed, excuse me, box, uh, some of the shapes I've changed so they have more of an indication to, to the uh, two designs and shapes that you would see in West Coast African uh, fabrics and materials. So throughout, throughout here, I've also put in, it's a lot of da dots and dashes, especially in, um, in certain African countries' uh, materials. There's dots and dashes, so I've got dots and dashes. And then I added little leaves. Because I've noticed in, in a lot of African American fabric designs or African designs, um, cloth designs, there's leaves. And to me that indicates growth and, and hope and change that's coming. So we've been working on this. And then to the last night I started working on her chair, her throne. And I thought I had sketched it out really, really well, evenly, followed the reference material. And when I went back this morning, thank God I didn't get into detail too much at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock last night. Because when I went back in this morning, I saw that everything didn't quite line up correctly. Uh, with the figure, with the bends in the material, there are certain folds that I've indicated right now and still the rougher sketch of, of the figure. But also, um, uh, it didn't just didn't line up. Anyway, whatever I was going to say. I'm going to show you a cool, really cool tool, tool that I found. Now, as we know, I moved from my little beloved little two-bedroom cottage or uh, ranch house rental to the one-bedroom garage uh, and this room, uh, living room area. And so completely squished in, but it gave me the opportunity to, to kind of go, go through the property, which I do is I go through the property, I try and clean up any messes that there are. And I found the, this, and I apologize. I have, as you can see, the painting is very, very large. So the camera is actually in the hallway leading to the kitchen and the bathroom. And, uh, I just want to give you an indicator of how tall this is. This is about eight feet tall. It's standing right now about a foot and a half off the ground. So it's, it's pretty big. I'm trying to fit as much into the camera as I can. But that's why we go from, hi, I'm a big person to, hi, I'm a little square, a little boxy person. Uh, it, it is incredibly large. I can't fit it all into the camera. But this is what I found. I found two of these. And it's taken me three, four weeks to figure out what the heck this is. It was sitting behind the tool shed and a pile of junk that I was cleaning out. It's a hammock. It's part of, it's a hammock frame. So this would have hold, held the rope to a hammock. And I have two of these. And last night, because last night I'm looking at this and I'm like, how am I gonna measure out all the details in this so they're proportional? side to side, they're correct, because I have a T-square, but it's only about 18 inches long. Each canvas is four feet long. So how am I gonna get this done evenly, consistently, and without it being a big pain in the ass? Then I remembered these. So I've been able to take my little hammock frames, uh, lay them on either side of the canvas and then make lines using the holes, measuring by the holes where the rope would go. And it's worked out beautifully. Beautifully. What a great opportunity. I love it when I find junk and I look at it and I go, I don't know what this is. I don't know why I found it, but there's going to be something significant going on there. These are going to be tools I can use forever because now I can actually measure this out and go, you know, break it down into increments, um, measured increments, and lay them on either side of the canvas, and then there we go. But again, last night when I looked at it, when I did it, uh, these are actually little uh, Henry VIII style roses that are on um, either side of the, the throne's legs. I had them up 
way, way, way too high. When I went in the morning and I looked at it, they were way, way, way too high. And then all this kind of leafy, very traumatic um, English detail that's in the throne that she's seated on was just kind of scrunched up. So I'm going back in today, the, well, the oil is still wet, but because I'm painting with just oil and mineral spirits, it's pretty easy, it's really easy to fix. I can wipe it down with mineral spirits when I'm running low, so instead I'm just going over it with chalk and drawing in all the new, newly measured designs with chalk. Then we're gonna get up into the necklace and then uh, up into the posts of the, of the throne that she's seated on. But so far, really glad, really, really glad. And I guess the big lesson is here is, don't commit yourself to a shape just because you laid it down once, just because you laid it down. It doesn't mean it's written in stone. It's all fixable. The rules, remember? Our rules. Um, it doesn't matter. It's all fixable and there are no rules. Those are the three rules. So I'm fixing it because it is fixable. It's not a big deal. And then later today, hopefully I'll go in and I'll start highlighting some of the creases and also producing more creases in the fabric, creases and folds. As we go along, this is gonna get more and more detailed. Um, I understand, and we'll be sewing this through Blue Jay, Blue, uh, sorry, J. Louise, J. Louise at Blue Egg Gallery. Uh, uh, we have a couple customers that may be interested, um, but if, you, if you're interested in it already, even though we're probably about halfway through, that's where a lot of the painting sell is when they're about halfway through, they're not quite done, um, because people know generally where I'm headed, and if they, you know, they feel a real connection to the work. If you're interested, if you just want to put in, you know, get some information on it, talk to him about pricing and stuff, J. Louise at Blue Egg Gallery and all at his links and contact info are down below the video. Um, and so I'm just going to get to work. Also, I apologize. Uh, what was that? Saturday? Saturday? No, Sunday. One of the Saturday or Sunday was supposed to be live feed day. Well, that's when everything started. More stuff started happening and I, I just couldn't do it. So I think it was sun, Sunday. I've got it on one of these schedules that I've got hanging up. Um, I do want to do live videos again. It's just like, can, can everything stop now so I can focus on the artwork, uh, which doesn't happen, but I keep praying it does. Anyway, uh, we will be doing them again soon because I kind of miss them. I, not kind of, I do miss them. I miss us being able to spend time together. Anyway, my name is Beck Lane and this is Catalyst and Company. Please like and su subscribe to the video channel. Also, if you'd like to help support Catalyst and Company for my Studio 120. All the links are down below, including a link to Patreon where you can supply monthly support. Monthly support on Patreon starts at $5 a month and goes up from there. Uh, then there's a Cash App where I take tips. I really appreciate tips. Uh, Cash App, PayPal, uh, the links for those are down below. Also T Public where you can buy images of my work uh, printed on printed as posters and prints, put on coffee mugs, uh, uh, sketching sketchbooks, all kinds of little things, pillows, all kinds of things. So um, check out the links down below and help support Catalyst and Company. Also, if there's works that you've seen, uh, just ask me, DM me, uh, put, it, put your question in the comment section and I'll be happy to get back to you or send you to the appropriate parties because we still have a lot of work available. We've had, we had several sales we thought were like definite and done and they're just still just kind of up in the air. So, and I know a lot of people are, were interested in those images. Just let me know, we'll figure it out. Okay, ready? Ciao, ciao, ready Carrie? Here we go. Mirror, 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 boink. <laughs>